Hey, everybody watching the channel that nobody watches, The Punk Hyro Show, and I'm your host, unfortunately for you, Punk Hyro. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Let's get to it. Hey guys, welcome back to the Punk Hyro Show. I'm your host as always, unfortunately for you, Punk Hyro, and we are joining Jennifer Connolly. And you'll be surprised about how much talking it takes just to fill a five minute video, almost six minute video. Anyway, I usually use a number five pencil. It's a .05 mechanical pencil, and I start off with an oval if I'm doing a head. I just roughly laid in. Actually, this only took me the whole thing, the sketch and the coloring only took me about, I don't know, 45 minutes, but I'm really not using. This is basically just a um, black and gray piece. Laying in the eyebrows there. Um, this reference is from the movie Opp uh, Career Opportunities, yeah. That's what it's called. It's like a 1991 film. I think it's right before she did The Rocketeer. I feel like it's kind of an unknown movie. It's, um, her and this guy get trapped into Walmart. Trapped inside Walmart. It's kind of kind of cool. I'm just laying in some watercolor with some toilet paper. Did I say toilet? Toilet paper. I think I add some black, yellow, and red. And then I end up smearing it all together. Giving it kind of like a marbleized type look. Just trying to make it more aesthetically pleasing. Now I'm inking the eyebrows. I believe I'm using a number two, an O2 micron. Same thing with the nose. Anything that has fine detail, I usually use an O1 or O2 micron. You can see there's a Coca Cola right there background if you're going to be doing lots of drawings um, you're going to need lots of energy it's exhausting laying in the hair I love this big brush pen it's one of my favorite things it's also made by Faber-Castle which is I actually like them better than Microns. Microns don't last for me, but um, Faber-Castell's always do, and these big, thick brush pins, you can really get a nice point, or if you need to cover a lot of space in a short amount of time, this is the way to go. This is actually the first one I've ever had. I've had it for a couple of months, and I've done it. I've used it on several pieces so it's lasted to be quite a while here I'm using a Prismacolor it's a cool gray Just laying in her shirt trying to create some contrast then I take a another gray a lighter gray a warmer gray and lay in some highlights under the eyes, above the eyes, color the lips, underneath the nose, all that stuff. And after I do all of this, I usually take a white out pen. And with the white out pen, <laughs> sometimes it's hard to get those things to work, as you can tell. With the whiteout pen, I use those primarily for um, refractions, like 
refractions or reflections in the eye and a lot of outlining a lot of hair things like that the brightening of teeth lightning fun stuff like that now when I used the watercolor I had taped my piece down to this artboard actually it was just a piece of an old shelf but it happens to fit 11 by 17 paper perfectly and here is the end result my Jennifer Connolly I want to thank you guys for joining me here on let's draw hit like and hit subscribe why not join up man there's a revolution out there an art revolution and don't miss out I've been your host as always unfortunately for you punk Hiro, and I will see you next time